in the 4th century, um, when Komungo was built, it has a myth. The black rain flew to the instruments. And that's why they named Komungo, Komungo means black bird instrument. That's Komungo means. I grew up in Korea. Uh, country was uh, not really established yet after the Korean War. So it was basically poor uh, without uh, much uh, economical strength. Um, and then I grew up in uh, countryside. When I was in high school, uh, my father sort of uh, made a big decision for me that uh, learning uh, Western music in Korea, it cost a lot of money. And he thought that I was talented, but he didn't think that he would support me fully. Uh, so I, had my, I made my shift from, you know, listening piano, things like that, and then moved to traditional music, which I never know anything about. And I didn't even know that we had our own music. So uh, when I found out that there is a long history of traditional music, and then I become very fascinated. After I studied all the music, I realized that this music doesn't function at all in Korea. I mean, it's, it's, Korea has started to modernize, and the Western uh, classical music, especially from Europe, uh, coming in, and then people are more fascinated by that. European classical music. And traditional music wasn't really respected in the society. And maybe that's why I came to America. My alternative goal was become a composer and making a new music. Um, and since then, all my life as an artist, I had one single mission, how to balance this Korean old root and the Western, uh, this new contemporary material, how to merge it together in, to, in balanced way. So in, in a way, I have a dual identity between ancient Korean roots and uh, contemporary American society. Kamungo is a fourth century instrument. And now I have to re reflect 21st century where we are living in. So I made the world first electric common go. Acoustic common go is very um, the plucking instruments because I'm playing with a bamboo stick. It's very rhythmic. But when I have this electric common go, I want to have something that acoustic common go cannot do. There are a, a few ways of doing it. I can produce multiple sounds at the same time. The, with the electric common go, time is like stretched, timeless, completely timeless, and I don't have to count anymore, you know. So those are very new concepts to how to make music on this electric common go. The energy of that uh, performance of common go, it's so significant to me. So I cultivated that energy in me, in my body. Even though it's, this instrument is highly technologically involved, uh, but I still try to convey or express this calm Buddhistic or meditative energy on this instrument. When you look at the life, everything, it's kind of a same thing over and over, but very fractal manner. It's, it's uh, nothing really controlled. It's very organic. The Korean musicians, they want to express that the life, organic and, and fractal the aspects of life, they don't think about how much bending or how much interval has to be. It's just natural expression of your soul. They would make each note alive. You make each note a shape by bending, slide down, 
vibrato. So each note has own life. And so I call this is living tones. You're continuously shaping each note. Each note has a life, its own way. And it has to be timeless. Time has to be open, elastic. Then you can do all the living tones. I've been playing common go over 40 years. In some way or somehow, I don't know why it came to me, but I started getting a mystical experience. The bird trying to communicate with me. It came in a very different way. But this is like the mystical experience to do with the bird. And I connected to that original black crane flew to the common go. I'm fascinated by this emerging art technology in American society. So trying to make this together, I created a piece called Ghost Common Gobat. Ghost is this shamanistic experience, basically the bird, the original bird, first century. And then my personal shamanistic experience. Common Gobat is the reflection of current American life that we are curious about robot. We are curious about the artificial intelligence. So that's why I'm making this common go bad to in order to make a improvisation together. I like to come to the beach because I want to empty my mind. The American life is sort of intense. And so when I come here, and be with just water, gentle water, and the pattern of the water, it really, really heals all the anxiety and stress, and sort of purifying myself. And once you empty mind, then I start to think about music. When I compose, when I do performance, it is in a way spiritual practice. That spiritual uh, joy, spiritual uh, practice that really makes you real satisfied what I do is kind of a timeless thing I have to be just floating no boundary I have to be able to float everywhere from time to time space to space from the ancient time to contemporary time and once you have that attitude you're just having a fun on the instrument